Hello guys, today we, we're gonna make uh, some Zeppelins, Lithuanian uh, meat potato dumplings. So uh, I'm gonna demonstrate you everything how I'm making them. And for that we're gonna need uh, some ingredients, which is potatoes. We're gonna need uh, a lot of potatoes, as, as you see. Uh, we need a uh, meat. In my case I've got uh, pork meat, but uh, it's uh, personal preference. So you can make, uh, you can use any sort of meat, whatever you have, uh, you know, uh, maybe you like with chicken. And also we're gonna need an uh, onion, couple of eggs, potato seasoning, meat seasoning, and a black pepper. So that's all uh, the basics we needed, and I'm gonna demonstrate you how we're cooking it. First of all, uh, we're gonna need uh, to peel all the potatoes. So for peeling potatoes, we need we use these uh, sort of peelers, not a knife, but peelers, because knife cuts a lot of potato off. So we're using the peeler to peel the potatoes off. Just like that. Once it's done, keep the potatoes in the water so they stay fresh. Here I'm boiling uh, some uh, potatoes, unpeeled potatoes, which is gonna be one of the ingredients for our zeppelins. I chopped the pork in, uh, in those uh, sizes so it can uh, fit in my grating machine. So I'm gonna grate it, I'm gonna grate the meat as I'm gonna need this uh, for stuffing, for stuffing the potato doughs. So it's gonna be proper zeppelin with the meat inside. Also. Put the boiled potatoes. So boiled potatoes I'm gonna grind as I did uh, with the meat. Yeah, grinded meat. I'm, uh, I'm gonna grind the boiled potatoes. And uh, raw potatoes I'm gonna grate with a different machine, which is grating machine. So yeah, those uh, Lithuanian Zeppelins is very complicated uh, procedure to make it. Okay, now I've got this little net. I put on the top of the pot, and this is grated potato. I'm gonna separate grated potato from the liquids as uh, these liquids are gonna be needed uh, later on for not the liquids but on the bottom of the liquid of this water it's gonna be like a starch, potato starch once the liquid sets down on the bottom you will see the starch and this starch is like, uh, I'll show you later how it looks like but it's like a liquid powder, yeah? It works as a glue, as a sticking material. Once we mix, once we build this zeppelin with the meat inside, we're gonna, we need this starch as a glue. So once we boil, once we boil everything, that zeppelin won't split, you know, won't go bust. That's why the starch needed for. So uh, I've got this liquid from, uh, which I just separated from the potatoes some grated potatoes and uh, on the bottom of this liquid it should be starch as I said you see the white thing on the bottom this is what called starch potato starch alright so I'll take yeah it's like a oh, look how it looks like it's like a flour it's like flour so I put on this. It's quite hard to remove it from the bottom. It's like pancake material, pancake mix. Starch mixing with this uh, grated potato, with this uh, boiled potato. Put all together. 
everything in one bowl and work with your fingers, you know, mince it, mince it, mince it until you get uh, like proper cons consistency uh, dough from which we're gonna build the base of the of the zeppelin and another another thing we're gonna put the meat inside hey guys uh, I'm making those zeppel zeppelins and I've got a little helper which is uh, my mom I'll show you uh, she is better in making these things so uh, I ask her to help me so you basically take that uh, potato dough make like flat take your ready-made meal, uh, re meal ready-made meat which is seasoned and a uh, cracked egg inside and making yeah closing closing inside that meat just like this and it looks like this like a zeppelin you know if you remember back in the day used to be flying objects like this zeppelins it's like air balloon but in the shape of this and it had a cabin underneath so they were flying like that so she's my uh, helper <laughs> And once it's all done, you're gonna put in the pot with water, with boiling water, and boil it. And I'll show you when it's a finished product. She, she's dipping her fingers into the bowl of water in order to this uh, potato dough get less less sticky. Otherwise, your hands, you know, sticks. This potato uh, sticks like glue to your fingers and it's uh, uncomfortable to make it but yeah she, as uh, she knows the procedure how to make it quick and efficient so I'll ask her to do so I'm filming her <laughs> okay guys I'll show you the finished product okay, once the, all the zeppelins are made up build up we're taking them one by one and putting in the boiling water some of them they are a bit sticky. Okay, it's time to remove the zeppelins. So it's been about 30 minutes. I uh, boiled them for 30 minutes. And this is how it looks. <laughs> Okay, quickly show you how they look like. Da -da -da -da. So this is how Lithuanian Zeppelins looks like. It's not the most successful one, but <laughs> still better than nothing, okay? So now you know how Lithuanian Zeppelins look like. Or oh, they called also uh, potato meat uh, dumplings. And we use uh, sour cream next to it. So we put sour cream on top and he eats. Okay, bon appetit everyone. I'm gonna start eating them, start destroying them. <laughs>